Hello students, this is class 6th science, chapter number 3, fiber to fabric. We will be covering this chapter in two lectures. This is the first lecture. Through this video, we will be learning about fibers, the type of fibers, and few examples of fibers. Some plant origin like cotton and jute. Some animal origin like wool and silk. Students, you all know we wear clothes made from different raw materials which are obtained from plants as well as animals like cotton, jute, silk, wool, nylon, etc. However, in our syllabus, we will be just focusing upon some natural fibers. Few plant origin fibers and few animal origin fibers. As the name of the chapter suggests, in this chapter we will be covering the journey of a cloth starting from fiber to fabric. In this journey, the first step is obtaining fibers. Before learning about how and from where the fibers are obtained, let us first learn what is fiber. The long, thin, thread-like strands are called fibers. The properties of the fibers depend upon the source they are obtained from. Let us now look at what are the different types of fibers. Different types of fibers are used in preparation of different different clothes. They are natural fibers and man-made fibers. Natural fibers are further divided into two based upon their origin. Number one, plant origin. Number two, animal origin. Whereas, man-made fibers are prepared from chemicals. Let's have few examples of fibers. Number one, Fibers of plant origin. These are the fibers which we get from plants. Cotton and jute. Number two, fibers of animal origin. As the name suggests, we extract these fibers from the animals. Silk and wool. Number three, man-made fibers or synthetic fibers. These are the fibers which are created or synthesized by the man. Rayon, nylon and polyester are some of the examples. In the previous slide, we looked at few examples of different different types of fibers. Here, we will be learning about each of them. Number one, cotton fiber. 
cotton is obtained from cotton plants. Cotton plant is a small annual shrub. It grows in places having black soil and warm climate. In India, cotton is grown in the states of Punjab, Rajasthan, Gujarat, Madhya Pradesh, Maharashtra and Tamil Nadu. The next question arises, how cotton fibers are obtained from plants? The fruit of the cotton plant is a small green ball-like structure called cotton ball. It contains many seeds covered with hair inside it. These hair are the cotton fibers. On maturing, the ball bursts open. Hence, the fiber is then collected. In these pictures, you can very easily see the cotton ball. Subsequently, on maturing, the ball bursts and cotton fibers can be taken out from them. You know, it is very difficult to separate the fibers from seeds by hands. That is why large steel combs called gins are used for this purpose and therefore the process of removing seeds from the mass of cotton fibers is called ginning. The second example of fiber is jute. Jute is obtained from a plant called patsan. It grows in low-lying land with clay soil which gets plenty of rainfall. In India, jute is mainly grown in West Bengal, Bihar and Assam. Jute fiber is obtained from the outer part of the stem of the jute plant. The jute plant is normally harvested when it is at flowering stage. The stems of the harvested plants are immersed in water for few days. Through these pictures, you can see how jute is cultivated and the jute plant is immersed in water just to soften the outer part so that the jute fiber can be easily extracted from it. Similarly, it is given here that the jute plant is immersed in water to soften the fiber and to enable it to be removed from the stem. The process to separate jute fibers from its stem by keeping the stems immersed in water is called retting. Wool is the third example of fiber. Wool is obtained from the hair or fleece of goat, sheep, yak or rabbit. It traps the body heat 
so that it is good to wear in winters. The process of removing hair from these animals is called shearing. By looking at the picture, we can see the hair or fleece of sheep is removed and this process is called shearing. The next fiber is silk. Silk is a natural protein fiber obtained from a protective covering called cocoon made by silk form around itself. The process of growing silk worm on mulberry trees and obtaining silk from them is called sericulture. In this diagram, it is shown the silk worm is reared on mulberry tree. Basically, silk worms feed on the leaves of this tree. And these white colored balls are basically the cocoon. At this, we have come to an end of this lecture. Let me assign few questions to you as homework. Multiple choice questions. Question number one. Which of these is not a natural fiber? A. Wool B. Silk C. Rayon D. Jute Question number 2 Silk fibers are formed of A. Protein B. Cellulose C. Calcium D. Petrochemicals Question number three. If you want to present your friend a gift made of plant fiber, which out of the following will you select? Option A, woolen shawl. Option B, jute bag. Option C, silk sari. Option D, Nylon scarf. Question number four. From which parts of the plant cotton and jute fibers are obtained? Question number five. State the atmospheric conditions required for number one, the cultivation of cotton plant number two the cultivation of jute plant that's all for this lecture number one see you in lecture number two